Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In today's class, you will see how to mark the given dimensions and what are the rules of marking dimensioning. Here, we need to mark all the given values in the main diagram. Okay, these dimensions are called or given dimensions are called functional dimensions. By seeing these functional dimensions, we can do the diagram. Okay, here one rectangle has given 100 mm by 40 mm. Width is 100 mm, height is 40 mm. Okay, let us assume we did this rectangle. Okay, and uh, these lines are called outer lines. Okay, this line should be dark compared to the dimensional lines. Okay, we are doing the outer lines with H pencil. Okay, now after that we need to mark these functional dimensions. Okay, here 100 mm that is 10 centimeter. Okay, here we have to extend the lines. These are called projector lines. And here we have to do the line. It is called dimensioning line. We have to mark this width 100 mm at the middle of the dimensional line. Okay, we should not keep either left side or right side. We have to keep at the middle of the dimensional line. We should not write mm also. Okay, so whatever values we are marking in engineering drawing, the entire values are in mm only. Okay, so before the title box, we are writing by doing the parallel lines like this. Okay, just roughly I am doing all dimensions in mm in the capital letters we are writing okay now here i am writing 100 here i am writing 40 this height okay it should be 3 to 5 mm or 3 to 6 mm okay 6 mm means how much this so this is 5 mm okay 6 mm is after this line up to this okay the height should be 6 mm okay 3 to 6 mm Okay, if we are writing here 6 mm means approximately here also we have to write 6 mm. Let us assume I am taking 5 mm height. Okay, 5 mm means from 0 to this line. 5 mm height I am keeping here means this height also 5 mm. So, by practice we can get easily. Okay, approximately we can mark the dimension. So, the height should be 3 to 6 mm. Here also 3 to 6 mm. And the gap between this dimensional line and outer line should be 8 mm to 10 mm. Okay, so 8 mm to 10 mm means this is 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, 8 mm to 10 mm is 1 centimeter. This gap should be maximum 1 centimeter. Okay, this is 1 centimeter. 8 mm to 10 mm. Okay, and here if you are keeping 1 centimeter means here also we have to keep 1 centimeter gap. Okay, now here we are keeping the arrows at the end of the dimensional line. Arrow should be, it should be lengthy like this. Okay, this length should be more compared to this height. Okay, let us assume this is 1 means, this is 3 times more than this value. Okay, we have to fill this arrow. We should not keep triangles like this. We should not uh, fill. And uh, this type of triangles are incorrect. We have to keep the arrows short like this, lengthy arrows. Okay. Now, this is the main functional dimensions we have marked here. Okay, we are marking this outer lines of the diagram with H pencil. Okay, always remember H is darker pencil and uh, these dimensional lines and extended lines with 2H pencil. 2H is light color. Okay, so all this should not dominate the main diagram. Main diagram should be in dark color. Okay, with H pencil and uh, these lines, okay, this line should be with 2H pencil. And here we have to write these values with HB. Always writing should be with HB pencil. Okay, HB pencil we are using from our childhood. So, we have to use that pencil for writing the values. We should not write 100.0 here, 40.0 like that. It should be avoided. We have to write in mm all the values. Okay. Now, this is the main diagram. These are the dimensional lines. This, uh, this is the dimension. For example, in another diagram, here so many dimensions are given. Okay, here how much gap we have to keep? Okay, from the main outer line or main diagram, this gap should be 8 to 10 mm. Okay, and uh, between the dimension, let us take this gap and let us assume one more dimension here. Okay, that gap should be 6 to 10 mm. Okay, so here 6 to 10 mm is 6 means this is 5, this is 6. Okay, so 6 mm. So 6 mm, 6 mm gap we have to keep. Okay, but here initially we have to keep little more, not 6 mm, 8 mm to 1 centimeter we can keep. Okay, 
so these are the important points during marking the dimensions next example here they have marked the functional dimension or given dimensions here this is a symmetrical diagram so many symmetrical diagrams are coming in engineering drawing so here we are taking the axis line okay about this axis this is symmetrical the symmetrical means whatever this side uh, diagram is here similar diagram is coming this side also at the time we should not take the axis line like this okay center line we should not mark the dimension from center line like this okay so we have to mark the dimension like this should not take the dimension from center line like this okay so we have to mark the given dimensions like this okay here it has written dimension to a center line should be avoided except when the center line pass through the center of a hole or a cylindrical part if some hole is here okay here at the center of this diagram so from that we can take the dimension okay so here there is no hole at the center so by taking the center line we should not take the dimensions got it let us take the next one here so sometimes similar diameter holes will be given okay we can take dimension for one hole okay so extend the line here mark the arrows outside because it is a smaller hole okay for these three holes okay three holes write in capital letters diameter is 10 mm okay like this so here no need to mark all the diameters inside the diagram okay just keep here for three holes means it, we have to understand for three holes means this hole this hole this hole the diameter is 10 mm we should not mark dimension on the horizontal axis or vertical axis we have to take the dimensional line like this inclined line we have to mark the dimension after that here also dimensions they are marking inside the diagram okay within the give some gap okay like this we have to mark the dimensions like this within the diagram we should not mark okay and here also so here initially we have to keep the minimum values at the end we have to write the maximum value of the dimension here if you are seeing they are keeping the bigger dimension here and these lines are crossing so projector line should not cross the dimensional lines let's take another example okay two diagrams similar diagrams are given same diagrams and here dimensions are marked okay so here inside dimensions are not permitted so we have to mark all dimension outside the diagram okay like this this one also this dimension instead of inside we can take the extended line projector line we can mark here 15 we have to keep all the dimensions outside the diagram not inside the diagram okay so here it has written this be inside a view not permitted this is not permitted let us take another example here the dimension the distance between this is has some value okay like this here also it has gap equal distance gap if you are seeing here this is very near to the main diagram okay it is not permitted here also this is more distance this is less distance this 30 is touching this dimensional line it is also not permitted we have to take this value if you are taking this is 8 mm you can take this is at least 6 mm okay already i have told we have to keep some gap so that this value should not touch this line and here also if you are observing here some gap is here here they are keeping the 60 on the main line outer line this is not permitted we have to give some gap from the main diagram to the dimensional line okay and next diagram for taking example sometimes so one diagram three dimensional diagram they are giving in terms of two dimensional diagram okay so this is a front view top view side view okay for the same diagram 3d view okay we are doing the diagram in terms of two dimensional okay for that we should not mark all the dimensions repeatedly let us assume width of the front view is 70 mm so in the top view also this width is same 70 mm okay we should not mark here in the wrong diagram here also they have marked 70 mm width here also in the top view they have marked 70 mm it is not necessary because for the single diagram we are marking the dimension at only one place we need to mark the given dimension let us take the next value 40 mm this is so this value is also 40 because we are taking the same diagram now here it has marked it here also it has marked 40 here also it has marked 40 so this is also not permitted only at one place it is necessary to mark and here for marking the circle 
okay circle always we have to mark with the diameter like this it is a smaller circle okay that's why we have to take the arrows outside the circle okay if small diameter circles will be there mark the arrows outside do the angle line okay some angle we should not mark the uh, diameter horizontal diameter vertical diameter like that always for marking the diameter we have to take the angle line like this and uh, we have to take diameter symbol and 20 mm no need to write mm okay and here we have to take the axis line okay this is the axis line this is the axis line axis line means two big lines with one dot okay like this like this axis line wherever circles are coming we have to do the vertical axis horizontal axis and for marking dimension just now i told do the angle line and extend the line above the diagram okay don't mark inside the diagram okay, always remember all dimensions should be outside the diagram okay so similarly for circle also mark outside the diagram okay if circle is small we have to keep the arrows outside the circle if circle is bigger one we can keep the arrows inside the circle like this okay now here also 15 thickness has given in the top view okay same thing here we are taking 15 so here they have marked 15 again so it is also not permitted so repeated dimensions are not permitted okay like this so the correct diagram is like this next example we are taking two parts here as shown in diagram whenever bigger length pipe or product has given we can uh, instead of doing the bigger one we are taking the broken part like this okay but this dimensional line is unbroken instead of this uh, broken we can do the diagram like this also okay the entire dimension is 40 cm or 0.4 meters okay for lengthy pipes or lengthy products we can uh, do the broken part here okay these are the important points